Hey there folks, Tornado Twins here and I have something very exciting to show you. Uh, this is our uh, first artificial intelligence prefab on unityprefabs.com and the reason I'm so excited about this is that it is extremely difficult to um, code the intelligence of enemies and how they attack you. And um, it's, you know, one of the uh, things about games that I always um, extend most and, uh, you know, procrastinate most because uh, it's just complicated so um, but this prefab coded by the uh, brilliant guys at certain logic they um, make it really easy to add enemy behavior to uh, your game so what I have here is the uh, side scroller uh, camera kit from unityprefabs.com it's very easy if I hit play I have a, a player and I can walk around and jump and this cylinder is obviously not a game character but it functions as collision material so you can easily replace it with your own character with animations now you've probably seen this before now let's add some artificial intelligence and some enemies and I'm going to show you just how simple that is first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to import a package uh, which I have on my desktop here which is the artificial intelligence now as soon as I do that it gives me an import window are you sure you want to import all these files and yes I'm going to do that now notice that I'm using unity 3.0 here um, and this one has not been released yet but this will work fine in unity 2.6 also so whatever version you're using this will work um, so as you've seen it imported a folder called unity prefabs and within that is an AI folder and this one is the 2.5 D waypoint AI now one other thing that has happened is here in the editor window is a couple scripts that actually mess with unity in the background so what I can do is I can go to um, game object create other and now all of a sudden it says create level navigation this was not there before we imported the package so I do that and the level navigation basically helps us set waypoints in the entire level now the reason uh, this is all grouped under one object is it makes it really easy to move multiple waypoints at the same time without having to select them all really awesome feature so I'm just gonna click add waypoint and actually on this platform here I want a enemy to walk left and right and left and right so patrol the area basically so I'm going to add one here and then move it over towards the left then I'm going to rename this waypoint and say left side then I'm going to add another waypoint and move that over to the right and I'm going to call this one right side you've guessed it alright now as you can see the waypoints are a little bit into uh, into the floor here so I could either select both of them and move them up or I could just grab the entire level navigation and move that whole your up all at once very nice alright so that's perfect now what I'm going to do is um, actually add a non-player character so an NPC which comes in the package I'm just gonna grab it and then uh, move it on the scene now as you can see there it is I'm just gonna make sure I set it on the right values so I'm gonna put it on 0 and 0 and I'm gonna put it up above the platform a little bit so maybe 1.6 in the Y Okay, then I'm going to move it over a little bit. It's just uh, depending where you place it. It's not really important because it's going to walk pa towards the waypoints anyway. All right, so now that I have my non-player character here, you can replace this one, of course, with your own graphics and all that stuff. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this up, and you can see that there is a uh, object attached here, which is called AI. Now, this AI is um, has a couple of behaviors. For example, we can make these character fly that means there has no gravity applied to this object so that's for example if you want to create flying objects or birds or whatever wasps attack you you know what have you this is all possible alright if you uh, don't want you can uncheck it we can also turn on flee behavior and that means that it flees away from the player that you define uh, where it flees away from so butterflies or whatever else is scared of you like rabbits or whatnot and then third uh, it has waypoint behavior and this is the one we're going to use right now I'm going to open up the waypoints here and as you can see the waypoints are not yet defined 
So I'm going to open up this level navigation that we've made and then we've used this to make these waypoints on the left and the right. And I'm going to drag left side on the first slot here and right side on the second slot. Now since I only have uh, two, I'm going to change the size to two. And boom, we are all done. Now as you can see, as soon as I added them, you see that there was a little box added, which means these waypoints are now accounted for by this character right here. Okay, if I deselect it, you can see as soon as I select it, it actually shows which waypoints are bound to this character. Very cool stuff. All right, now next, what I want to do is what happens when he goes from the first waypoint to the second waypoint, what do we do after that? Well, that's real easy. I'm just going to go back in that AI here, and it says loop style. Now, forward means it goes right back to the first one. Um, but in this case, I'm going to pick reverse, so it means it's going to go to the first one, and it's going to the second one and then it reverses its path and it goes back and forth creating the illusion that the enemy is actually patrolling the area okay notice that I have not done anything yet with the player so it's not going to attack me it's just going to move around okay let me hit play here and as I go to the scene you can see that the enemy starts moving around he's actually pushing me around here In the game view, you can see how that affects the player. It's going to push me off the edge because I did not tell it to uh, actually do anything to attack me yet. So as you can see, it drags on the floor a little bit, so we can tweak that. Uh, first of all, let me make sure that this non-player character is up just a little higher from the ground before it starts. And then you can set here the mass and the drag and everything. Um, you know pretty easy to do you can also change the behavior or movements down here all right so this is very simple and the only thing I've showed you so far in this pack is these simple waypoints now uh, there's more than waypoints in this pack there's also behaviors and movements so you can define your own movements if you want your enemies to jump or to uh, go over obstacles or stuff like that you can also uh, define uh, your own behaviors um, so that your your character can have a different mindset you know that sort of thing and when you start stringing those two together or actually those three you can get entirely uh, cool complex behaviors that create your unique gameplay now in case you want to know more there's a documentation that comes with this one and um, it is an install guide and actually the um, full docs let me open up and show you what they look like as you can see uh, the guys did an excellent job of showing exactly how to make your own AI off of this, what uh, behaviors are there, how to make them seek or flee or find you, you know, attack you, how to make different movements, um, how to tweak that and that sort of stuff. Really, really in-depth, really cool prefab and um, actually playing around with this is uh, such an amount of fun. I highly recommend it. All right, this prefab you can find on unityprefabs.com. And it's discounted in the first week, so uh, you know it's quite a quite a big discount. So I would recommend getting it as soon as possible. All right, thank you so much for watching, and have fun.